Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today we celebrate the valley's grand reopening. We visit the Amy's at the Idora Park Experience, and we check in with Eric Ryan from JAC Management. But first, the gorgeous renovations at the Robbins Theater in Warren. You are going to love this segment. I am here with Ken Hedaris. He is the president, excuse me, of <laughs> Sunrise Productions. And uh, he is responsible for bringing the entertainment here to the Robbins Theater uh, over at uh, River Rock at the Amp. Mm -hmm. And I've been wanting to come here, but COVID kind of put a little pause yeah. in our interviews. Now you're back open. Here we are. And I Here have finally are. got the 25 cent tour. This is an amazing venue. We're gonna give you the dollar tour when we're done with this well, interview. Thank Just you, so I'll you have to again. pay a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. But this is unbelievable. It, I'm biased, but you know what? During all the renovations, I kept seeing more and more things come out. And even now when I walk in, I see something new every day because there's a lot of detail. Like, you know, when you look up at the ceiling, <sighs> You know, we had, there was a guy named Harry Leith. He was a master plasterer, and he did all this, a lot of this work. I mean, the plaster part of it, there was a lot of people master involved. Master plaster. I think they plaster. should be playing here. That's like here. a Kiss song, Master they Blaster. Here. So, um, uh, it's incredible. It's it just incredible. Is. Now, how long was this vacant before From the 1974. So, Mark Marvin, who was president of Downtown Development Group, Jimmy Desenzo, Mark's wife, she did all the decorating asked if we would be involved with this. And I said, you know, yeah, yeah, let's go for it. I mean, literally, yeah. and when Mark says something, it's gold. He, when he says it, it gets done. And he bought it, and it was the fastest theater renovation in the United States. We I just mean, got, I mean, 18 months, this thing was done. For that long, and to not have such incredible damage. There I, was some on the stage. There was a skylight where water had leaked in. There were some issues over here. But the bones of this building—I mean, look We're at that marble. Strong. That marble is is the original marble. And uh, you know, the, the, the walls are 18 inches thick with concrete. It's actually a curse sometimes when you want to blow through a wall. You really got to blow, blow through, through the through wall. wall. You know, it's almost diamond. It's not diamond. I am shocked though at how comfortable the seats are, even though the original seats—all new padding, all new fabric on top. All I new mean, powder coated everything. It is beautiful. Now, for this size venue, what did you say? Fourteen hundred capacity. Fourteen hundred seats. Not really, not a bad seat in the house. No, there's because not a bad seat in the you're house. You're upstairs, your mezzanine. I mean, you really are. There's no sight. Mm -hmm. um, the sight line is great. Sight line. Yeah, so, bad if sight you're looking lines. above us, remember when this theater was built in 1923, there was no speakers, so it was all so the sound would come up come up through here and go up to the balcony and vice versa. It's all acoustic. So we've had some, vi yeah, it was built, the, the walls are rounded. Mm -hmm. The violinists that have played here with no sound, the sound is truly incredible. Everything is amazing here, it really is. I mean, if you haven't seen the bathrooms downstairs, you're, it, or upstairs, it's like you're walking into back in time. The attention for detail, for Bell, anything, and that will be in. something. And by the way, you're doing much better on the fourth take, I have to tell you. <laughs> fourth take, folks, just so you know. What are you looking at in, in terms of artists? You know, where where is that, does that leave you? Well, you know, there's some theaters that are too big, uh, like 2,400 seats. Some acts don't fit in that. Yes. If the th place is too big. I honestly believe, uh, good acts, you know, obviously sell yes. seats, but this place, Sometimes if uh, an act only sells X amount of tickets somewhere else, I think it, we sell more here because of the theater, the acoustics, mm -hmm. and the experience. It's actually a great place. America's gonna be here, that's been announced. Yes. Jimmy Vaughn. Uh, Jackal. Jackal, oh God, there's so much. And there we have is. so many more shows coming that I can't even think of right well, no, now. No, I'm trying to remember, like you opened up with Big Bag. Big Bag uh, Voodoo Daddy. You said that very well, by the way. Perfect for <laughs> comedians. I mean, Comedian. this and we're is working a on really that too. nice venue. Yeah, You know, when you see those comedians, mm -hmm. when they want to tape their specials. We have uh, Justin Hayward. We were scheduled Justin Hayward from the Moody Blues. Yes. Now he's coming, I believe, in September. Air Supply is gonna be here, but they were supposed to be here, I mean, I think this month, and that has been rescheduled till, uh, 
next spring. Well, because everyone's re yes. readjusting. Yes, Ace Freely schedules. was supposed to be. He's going to be oh, here in March. Awesome. And this is a perfect venue for Ace Freely. Perfect. So a lot of stuff got moved, but we have booked so much stuff in between now in the next 12 months because all the acts want to be out. My only concern is, I don't think so, is that, you know, maybe too many concerts, you know? But I think people are ready to break loose and they really won't care. A lot of people were stuck at home for 13, 14 Exactly. Months. Now, you're also responsible for the acts at the River Rock at the Amp. Correct. You know, what's the approach, you know, when, when you're booking there, what is this capacity at the Amp? Well, capacity goes all the way out on the lawn, so you can get four or 5,000 people. Wow, I mean, that's Not everybody can see the stage. Though. Not everybody can see the stage. You can hear. You can hear. Yeah, that's always a good time at the Amp. So when you're looking to book bands there, and you know, with the weather consideration, oh, geez. how do you approach that? Rain insurance. Okay. Event insurance, <laughs> yeah. number one. Not yeah. all the shows, but some shows get a little pricier. Mm -hmm. Stuff, here's the way I look at it. Led Zeppelin's never playing again. So we have a Zeppelin Are you band. sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, Pink Floyd's never playing again. So those tributes are very good. We try to bring in the best of the best, and uh, people. Everybody, everybody wants to have music they can sing to. Yeah. We have a, an act this year, Billy Joel and Elton John. It's called Face to Face. It's incredible. They're really good. I mean, incredible. they know the songs. And, and, and people and, will stand up and sing the songs, and, and your they feel. Admission, what, what is the cost there? I mean, it is much eight lower. To, eight to twelve dollars. Yeah, I mean, and for that, that is a bargain. Uh, you know, when I was little, my parents always had just a few years season ago, just a couple years ago, okay. uh, for the Kenley Players. <laughs> yeah, and you know, John Kenley brought in. Oh, big you watch names. Johnny Carson. Where are you going to be next week? We're, Warren, yeah, Ohio, Warren, the Ohio. Kenley Players. And I mean, the people that came through Warren, and you know, that, that was bus tours, strip. bus tours. Um, you have. The Kenny players. <laughs> you play on words, You yeah. are going to have uh, like a members only club, and then that will give them access, like first right to buy and things first like right that. First right to buy. It's only going to be forty memberships right now. We oh. have another room in case that we Excuse have to add on. Exclusive. Well, it's not. That's the space that we have. Okay. But so you get your tickets, and then, you know, <laughs> you can come in two hours before the show. There's adult beverages available with the membership, appetizers. We're gonna give some tchotchkes away, like some nice, you know, whiskey glasses, yeah. and, and like a like a Robin's Theater shirt. Okay. So yeah, and I think uh, corporations are interested because, uh, you know, they can bring clients. Well, it's nice it's for a, it, 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 yeah, it's yeah. an entertainment thing, but I think people like to make so a big deal. So would you be the Kenny? From, from the Kenny players. Yes. <laughs> I gotta see you. I don't know if that's good or bad, you know, to be honest with you, but yes, I am, yeah. I don't know if I want We'll have a couple of adult beverages belong together. To that huh? club. I don't know. We'll, you know, we may hope we have some memberships left, but we'll work on that. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Hi. I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for over 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may face. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court, and remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. Family owned Mayflower Wilm Insurance Group is your full service independent agency. Our family works with a variety of insurance companies so you have the best choices for your insurance needs. Let us find the right product at the right price. Personal lines, business, farm, commercial insurance, life insurance. Trust locally owned Mayflower Wilm. You focus on what's important. We'll take care of the details. Mayflower Wilm, close by with three locations to serve you. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Well, I am here with Rude the Dude at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. Summer has arrived 
and you have got so much going on, Rudy. Yes, yes we do, Casey. You know, we're coming out with a new menu for the summer, springtime. Uh, we started a brunch now on Sundays, 11 to 4. Uh, we got the banquet room filling up fast right now for graduation parties and showers. Uh, we're going back to the farm to table menu now on the weekend, so supporting our local farms again. So again, we just, we're getting back to normal again, back to what we used to be, and uh, we're just gonna do what we're used to doing here. They're gonna have entertainment out on this gorgeous patio, and if you need to know what is happening at the Magic Tree, just sign on to their social media accounts. Go to Facebook, Instagram, go to their website, but there is always something happening here at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. Kamara Jewelers is the place to buy an engagement ring because we want a relationship with you that lasts a lifetime. Your commitment with her is the same commitment we have to you. We want to sit down with you and teach you about diamonds so you're educated on what you're buying. We have the largest selection we ever have, which is the largest in the area and at the best value. And if it's not something in our case, we could always custom make it. We can make any dream come true. Get real, get Kamara. Join the Island Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. Given is living. Join the Island Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available at $13 an hour. Given is living. Well, it has been a while since I visited with my friend, Eric Ryan, the president of JAC Management Group. And what have you been doing for the last, I don't know, 18 months? That's a good question. Because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this really affected your job. Well, yeah, I mean, you go from a thousand mile an hour to zero, you know? Uh, I tell people we went from 450 employees company wide to six. So it's been difficult, but you know what? We made it through it. We're here and- We know. are here. So my question, you know, the, you have really booked a lot of stuff already yeah. for the Youngstown Amphitheater. the theater. Now tell me, how did that work? The governor finally issues the all good, go ahead. Did your phone, did you just blow it up? Or did you already know who was touring? How did that work? Well, you, you know, c contrary to what some people may have thought, I'm, you know, we, we kept working the whole time and pushing dates back and, yeah. and rescheduling and rescheduling, even shows that we had offered on, you know, that may not have announced. So we, we tried the best we could to stay in front of it. And all I kept saying, if you talk to me during the pandemic, <laughs> was like, we need information, you know? I mean, you know, we were in the mass gathering business and there was no worse business to be in. I tell people that we did not have a takeout, uh, we did not have a takeout menu. No. You know, uh, no. and so, so you know, we stayed ahead of it, thank goodness. And, uh, and then, you know, the, when we got the call, we kind of knew that at 4.30, we kind of said, some people were telling us that it was yeah. coming down at 5.30. So we just started ringing those phones, you know, and calling people and, and everybody was ready to get back to work. And, and uh, you know, luckily, luckily we were able to put together one heck of a lineup. I know, I mean, you know, foreigner. Counting Crows, um, I'm trying to think of all the bands now. Uh, Nelly, I mean, and, and you know, you're starting with the big, train. you know, Train. Yeah, I, Black Street. Black Street's our first show on July 2nd and selling great, great R&B band. And, and uh, I, think, I think we have such a, the, the lineup is so diverse. I mean, yeah. I, there's something for everybody, you know? We have a country show, we have uh, old school rock show, we have R&B show, we have a rap show, we, ha we have everything, everything that you would want. And you've got um, the Canfield Fair. Yeah. That's blowing up. So how about Shine Down at the fair? Amazing. Is that yeah. crazy? Yeah. You, you, you know, know, I mean, think about that. Shine Down is playing the Canfield Fair. Yeah. And, you know, I always say Shine Down's kind of the Mahoning Valley's rock band. I oh, mean, it's man, just they amazing. Are. And tickets are selling incredible. And they're a clean rock band. I mean, yeah. they, they really are. You know, they're not. And, 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 you know, they're the number one 
uh, most played rock band uh, on active rock in the, in the history of, of I mean, the world. It's crazy. So it's it's crazy. It's selling really great. And then and Darius Rucker. I mean, correct. that's a get. Yeah, that's Darius on, on get. Sunday is a wonderful and show. And the ticket sales are good it's for that. Great, yeah. Yeah, I, listen, the community was ready to come out because I'm telling you, I look at ticket sales all oh, about 150 times a day, you know? Uh -huh. And they're selling and people are excited to get Youngstown out. Because Youngstown usually waits till the last minute, but not yeah, this no, time. No, no way. They're, they're getting out and buying tickets. <laughs> yeah, so. They don't want to miss yeah, it. Yeah. You know, the YSU Festival of mm -hmm. Arts, that's going to be interesting. You're going to have it right here along the uh, corridor under the bridge. Right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you How know, did that the, work out? At Hunt Huntington Community Alley underneath the bridge. It's going to be all right there. And then in the Ween Park. So, uh, yeah, so we've been talking to YSU about it. It was something that they, when they saw our property down here and the space that we had, felt that it would be a great fit. And the President parking Dressel. is so much easier. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And there's plenty of room to grow. And, you know, we'll grow into the amphitheater as it moves along. But. We're so excited, you know, that's such a wonderful event for it our is. community. It is, I love that. That is one of my favorite things with all the artists. I mean, it really mm -hmm. is, and the musicians. Back in the day when he was little Eric Ryan, <laughs> and um, he had the uh, cellar in Struthers, our man, Joe Bonamassa. Oh my gosh. He used to play yeah. at the cellar. When Eric had the cellar, can you, be, that place was jam. Yeah. You know, it was, it's exciting, you know, how is it like talking to him again? Do you, do you deal yeah. with him at all? Yeah, you know, the funny he's thing gotta is, remember he's, those yeah, he crazy absolutely days. remembers the cellar. Yeah. As a matter of fact, a lot of people don't know this, the first time we had him, well, I was still working at the mill at the time, yeah. and I got off 3 to 11, <laughs> and I said, how many people do they have? They said, we have about 25, you know? And uh, Casey and Cornell, two of them. <laughs> yeah. I said, oh my gosh. And so they said, well, you gotta come see this guy, he's amazing. And, and, amazing and, yeah. and he was very kind to us then and we said let's try to build it and do yeah. it and obviously um you know he's just blown up nationally oh my but gosh, he's you know, so good you know but then it just yeah. you know that show turned into and i think we had him about six times we had him a lot he yeah. was like the house band yeah you know him and tommy <laughs> castro we had like two bands it was so much fun and yeah. uh, you know i know you miss those days but this is so awesome you know, we're just happy to be back in business and, you know, start entertaining again. I said, you know, uh, I didn't realize, you know, I, I always knew how much I loved it, but just, just being out of business for 15 months, is, it's good to be back and entertaining people. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. RNS Paint is a locally owned paint store and not a paint department. Inspiration comes easy when choosing exciting Benjamin Moore colors and finish. Over 3,400 vibrant and durable colors are yours at RNS Paint. Are you ready for a garage upgrade? Absolutely. Lose those ugly stains and even out your garage floor. Pebblestone is luxury stone flooring that everyone can afford. 
Ta-da! Pebble Stone is made with natural stone and the strongest man-made binder. It's easy to clean, withstands moisture, and adds value to your home. I love this garage. Call now and receive 50% off select colors. Trust the Valley's own Pebble Stone. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. I'm sitting here in a Wildcat car at the Idora Experience with the owner, Jim Amy. And obviously, Jim, you can tell that I, too, am a fan of all things Idora. I mean, it's my logo. This is your logo. Yes, I love your logo. The sign from Canfield Road. And I am I'm overwhelmed by what you have out here. That's great. I'm glad to hear that. When I talked to you on the phone, uh, and I saw some things on TV when you had some of the news out here, but I had no idea the extensive collection that you and your wife um, have Thank acquired you. here. Thanks. We, we, we hear that a lot from folks who come in here. We're so close to it, so we don't really notice. It's kind of like seeing the forest through the trees. But uh, when people come in here and they remind us, and we, we have people crying and laughing, and they're like, holy cow, where did you find this stuff? It's, it's a great feeling for us. It really is. What made you want to start collecting all this stuff? Well, we. My wife and I walked through Idora Park in, in 1993 in the winter, and I hadn't been back since 1976. So, I mean, 17 years had passed. And I knew it had closed in 1984, but until I saw it with my own two eyes, that, and that's when it really hit me in the chest. That's when it really hit me in the heart. It was like, oh, it's really not coming back. And, and I wanted to collect some things from there. And, and uh, so we walked through, and, and there were things in the, uh, the ballroom, with massive ballroom. There were wooden chairs in there with the Adora logo on them. And uh, there was all kinds of cool stuff in there. And I said, look, we got to take some of this stuff because it's going to disappear otherwise. The park was disappearing. And she said, no, that's, that's stealing. You can't do that. And I tried to explain to her. Hey, well, it's the Youngstown way, man. I, I, that's, that's what I said. You know? I said the same thing. I said, from Youngstown, it's OK. And she just would not buy that. I, in 1976, I, I worked a game called the football throw, and I also worked mm -hmm. skee ball. Love skee ball. Yeah, we have Love two skee ball games, but they're they're identical to Idora's. Idora's burned in that fire in '84, but we have two that are identical. Um, but the football throw that was still standing. I don't know what it became after '76, but it was still standing, and there was a a light uh, fixture that was hanging by one screw over my booth. So I said, you know, I don't care really what you say, I'm taking that thing. And it's, it's hanging up on the wall back there. It's got a little red bulb in it. How, how do you like get these things? Was it still there and you just were able to yes. go I, get it? I, I contacted the church, in, uh, the Mount Calvary uh, Pentecostal Church, and told them that I would like to take that and then I'd, I'd make a donation to them. And also there was a light that was, which is up, up here, a, mm -hmm. a light that was above the office at Idora Park. Yeah. And then there's the last standing lamppost at Idora Park. Yeah. So when you lived in the D.C. area, where were you storing all this stuff? Oh, yeah. I'm glad my wife's not answering that question. <laughs> Tony is Jim's wife, and you are buying your way into heaven <laughs> through I wish it were that easy. The Idora Park <laughs> memorabilia. You've never been there. Nope. You're from California. Yep. Do you feel that you've been to Idora Park with um, all of the acquisitions that you've made? Yeah, I kind of do. So I, I kind of look at it that I've earned my stripes. You know, I'm a transplant to the Youngstown area, but I have a feeling that I probably know more, have experienced more, and probably am uh, more engaged in some of its history and such. I knew about Idora Park two years before I ever stepped foot in Youngstown. I can't believe he has the tapes for this. Every, every once in a while there's a, a holy grail I have to have for my door park. And for many years, a lot of people were looking for a Rapids slash Lost River boat. And nobody could ever find one. And then one day on, on uh, the internet, a guy writes to me, he has, sends me three photographs of this boat. And it's under a tree and it's falling apart. And he says, 
Uh, I played in this boat as a kid, thought you might like this. So uh, right away I'm like, holy cow, this is the Lost River boat. The couple's name was, was Jack and Sally Kenny, and they said, we saw you on TV, we thought about donating, thought it was in a bad condition, you wouldn't want it. And uh, I said, yeah, of course I want it. You know, the property, I mean, that is so, um, you know, the way it is right now, in its current condition, and it doesn't seem like they are going to do anything with it. If you, you've tried to acquire that yes, um, the we, original Idor property. Yes, we, we had our attorney contact the church's attorney, and uh, we, we made an offer for more than the appraised value of the property. It's 26, a little over 26 acres. And uh, we told them the, the offer was good for 10 days. We didn't think we'd hear back from them. Yes. And uh, in eight days, they responded with a simple, the Idor Park property is not for sale. What is your vision for that property if you were to acquire it? Well, first of all, I think... Because I think that neighborhood would oh. really welcome you as a neighbor because, you know, yes. it's really gone to ruin. I've talked I've talked to their, their I don't know if his title is CEO, but I've talked to the fellow about it. The Door and, Neighborhood Association. Yes, yeah. yeah. And uh, he's all for it. Uh, our plan would be to put a museum to Idora Park. With all of this stuff, Mahoning Valley Historical Society would have it. Put a museum on the property, open it up to picnics, uh, walking paths. I think it would benefit the community, it would benefit the city. And, you know, I'd, it, it, of course it wouldn't have the rides on it anymore, but Idora Park started out in 1899 as a picnic area. And you never know how you're going to influence some young kid in his life, his or her life. Maybe that child hasn't been born yet. They're going to grow up. They're going to see something like this, and, and they're going to say, we can do this again. Mm -hmm. Who knows what might happen in the future? Like, what do the Amy's do for fun? Like, you know, what do you do to get away from, you know, this kind of, you know, I do our park. Uh, we're going to go? Disney World. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're taking kids and grandkids and going to Disney World. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.